Welcome back guys to another video. This time let's talk about Tesla because they've been doing extremely well recently. We also will be talking about ARK Invest, some brand new valuation targets for Tesla since everyone is kind of confused about what the company is worth and also what's going on with the overall company. We got Tesla perhaps moving to Texas and also some big sales that are surging in China. But the main thing that we will be focused on today is the price target of Tesla, the autonomous vehicle, and what ARK Invest is saying. The reason why everyone is so obsessed with what ARK Invest and Kathy Wood is purchasing is simply because the things they purchase usually go up. If you check out their ETFs, they're up roughly 300 to 400% in the past five years. The S&P 500 only doubles once every 8.5 years. So obviously you may want to check out their ETFs and buy what they are buying. At this current moment, Tesla is ARK's biggest holding and they bought Tesla at around $200 pre-split price. Now keep in mind that Tesla did do a stock split. So when you look at this chart, make sure you divide everything by five. And if you check this out, Tesla at this current moment is somewhat between $2,500 and $3,400 pre-split price tag, which is roughly about $500 to $700, which guess what? Tesla is comfortably sitting at $500, $600 post split price and if you check out what's above you can see autonomous over everything and the autonomous car company a lot of these words were saying that tesla can't really be building the factories efficiently but they can launch its fully autonomous network now this is pretty nice especially how tesla is kind of recently lowering the cost of some of their vehicles now even though they are increasing the prices of their autopilot system for example the full self-driving beta it went from $8,000 to $10,000. That's super expensive. But now Tesla actually said that they're fully confident to achieve full autonomy by the end of 2021. This is pretty big, especially this matches very consistently to this chart by ARK Invest. So therefore we should be seeing Tesla stock hovering at roughly $3,000 per share. Tesla stock right now is roughly $600 per share and the valuation is roughly $600 billion. So essentially, ARK is saying that Tesla is a multi-trillion dollar company if they can launch the autonomous network. If you guys don't know what this is, this is pretty much the robo-taxi network. The robo-taxi network is you buy a Model 3 or a Model S, for example. You got the full self-driving software in it. You drive it to work. Instead of parking it in the parking garage like everyone else, you could tell your car to go out and pick up passengers like a Lyft car or Uber car. But instead of being in the car and driving it to other people, the car drives by itself. A lot of people have been saying that this freaks them out, but more than two thirds of you guys said that you will be willing to sit in a fully autonomous vehicle. So it's really not that bad. And plus with this whole pandemic going on, a lot of people don't really want to have that human to human contact. So actually sitting in a fully autonomous robo taxi becomes more and more appealing after this crazy pandemic. Now, if Tesla does launch the robo taxi network, a lot of people will buy the Tesla vehicles due to the fact that why would you not buy a car that depreciates super slowly, but also makes you money every single day. Now, Elon Musk has said that the robo taxi and the fully autonomous vehicles could make a person roughly $30,000 per year. After two years of renting your car out as a robo taxi, it pretty much pays for itself. I'm talking about the Tesla Model 3 here. So there you go. Not only that, with the Ride Hell app going on, we could be seeing the end of Uber and Lyft or Uber and Lyft ordering massive amounts of robo taxis from Tesla, which they will make a bunch of money from. On top of that, you do have a lot of people saying how Tesla, they don't sell enough vehicles. Their valuation shouldn't be worth multi trillions of dollars. Well, the thing is, if you look at Tesla as a car manufacturer, if you look at Tesla as a company that strictly makes vehicles, their valuation wouldn't surpass $50 billion. But because they have autopilot, and if they launch this Ride Hill app, this autonomous network with robo taxis, they just became more than just a car manufacturer. They just became more of a software company. They became an autopilot company than anything else. And software companies these days are evaluated at insanely high prices even though they're consistently losing billions and billions of dollars. So there you go. The valuation for a lot of companies nowadays is the more tech focused, the more tech heavy you are, the higher your share prices go. So obviously though, this chart, even though it looks pretty insane, I think Tesla next year, since they said that they will achieve full autonomy, their stock price will hit $3,000. 
Now, if they will get regulatory approval, it's a whole different deal. Now, what I'm thinking is they probably will achieve full autonomy next year, and we have a slim chance of getting the robo taxis online in some cities. But I feel like the majority of the robo taxis will come online, perhaps 2022 or even 2023, since there's a lot of regulatory approvals to go through before launching something that ambitious. But just the idea that ARC has been right previously, these valuations and price targets fit spot on with Tesla. And at this current moment, they could easily be making these robo taxis a reality next year or just within three years. Last two things, let's talk about the Tesla Gigafactories, the SpaceX Starship development in Texas, and also the Chinese Gigafactory increasing sales rapidly. So this current moment, Elon Musk says he's moving to Texas to pretty much focus on the Tesla Gigafactory. Now, Tesla and Cali has had some beefs in the past few weeks, especially how like Cali wouldn't let them open because of the pandemic. Musk was super mad. They're pretty much delayed on multiple occasions. Tesla moving to Texas, you give that nice sweet tax break. And also, Musk also stated that the reason behind this move was because two of the biggest projects right now are in Texas. You got like the development of the Starship rocket and the spaceship. On top of that, you do have the Tesla Gigafactory in Austin. That's the most important part since they is making the Tesla semi trucks, which is super big, and also the cyber trucks, which got more than a hundred thousand pre orders. And so far, let's just see what happens at this current moment. Tesla is the last car manufacturer in California, and the CEO says that he will stay in California depending how Tesla is treated by the state of Cali. And last but not least, is we got record high sales in China. The Shanghai Gigafactory is cranking out more vehicles than ever before. And we're already seeing a lot of crazy pictures of the Model Ys being built in the Shanghai Gigafactory too. At this current moment, Tesla sales have surged to a new record high of more than 21,000 vehicles in China. On top of that, you will be having the Model Y production starting in quarter one of 2020, and that will be a more massive scale production. Now in 2021, Musk wants to be aiming for 1 million vehicles and 550,000 of those vehicles will be coming from the Gigafactory Shanghai. And the Gigafactory Shanghai is producing more cars than any other Gigafactory. On top of that, they will be shipping roughly 100,000 vehicles to Europe while the Gigafactory Berlin is under construction. So Tesla is super busy. Let's see what happens. Stock price is going up. If you want to cop some Tesla shares, might as well do it right now. Thanks for watching, guys, and comment below. Definitely subscribe for more Tesla news. We've got videos on the daily and also a lot more Tesla stuff coming in. We've got RoboTaxi news, battery facilities popping up. 2021 is going to be Tesla's year.